Ja, und man kennt das ja aus Binding of Isaac. Die kreisen um ihn, weil sie ihn quasi vor Projektilen schützen, die beiden Fliegen. Das sind Projektilabwehrfliegen. Das ist, glaube ich, der umständlichste Weg, den wir hätten gehen können, Hund. Der umständlichste Weg. Achso, da lang wahrscheinlich. Jeder Zwilling ein Bein vom Mörder. Das sind wie so ein Transformer. Der Hund, die beiden Kinder und vielleicht noch irgendwer. Mir fällt keiner ein, der so klein ist. Aber die schließen sich zusammen und bilden quasi dann Raincoat Killer Prime. Oder Raincoat Tron. Schieben. Geheimer Raum. Geheimer Raum hinterm Schrank. Und in dem geheimen Raum steht eine Pendeluhr, die wahrscheinlich zu jeder vollen Stunde Pendel schlägt. Worst Secret Room ever. Was haben wir hier? Eine kleine Topfpflanze. Wie von dem dicken Gärtner. Ich meine, der dicke Gärtner kann offensichtlich nicht der Raincoat-Killer sein. Oder? Jason. Aber es kann doch kein Zufall sein. Was machst du da in there? York, is that you? Thank God. I can't get this door open. Can you unlock it from your side? Jason, stand away from the door. <lacht> Sagt er nach dem er schoss. <lacht> cool. Wie soll der Hund auch was anderes wiegen als mein Anzug? Das stimmt. Where's Diane? And what are you doing here? I was going to ask you the same thing. Well, let's just say I have my reasons, you know, pri private reasons. I don't really have to tell you, do I? Actually, you do. Diane just died a moment ago. What? You're not just a key witness now. You're now a suspect. And you need to tell me exactly what you were doing here. Well, I just... I just came here to talk with Diane. To have a conversation. And I suppose that kiss mark on your cheek is from your conversation. This was just a spur of the moment thing. Which is exactly what killed Diane. Okay, okay. I came here to be with Diane. You happy now? We've been together before, a, a, a couple times. It's one of the reasons why I like coming to this town, see? This time is no different. I, I, I bumped into her in a bar in Seattle. I had some, some holiday coming up. Well, so, so I just took it and I drove her back here. I have a wife, you know, but, but we've been separated for a while. We're going through a divorce right now and I don't want her lawyer finding out. Anyway, how could I kill Diane if I was in a room locked from the outside? Two hours ago, me and Diane, we were taking it easy, drinking upstairs. We were, you know, enjoying ourselves. Then Nick had to show up. Well, then Diane had a sudden change of heart. She locked me up in here. Warum schließt sie zu? Wenn er sich... I've just been here, naja. waiting for her to come back, of course, but, but she didn't. I heard footsteps a couple of times, but they just passed by. Well, then I couldn't wait anymore, so I let Willie here out through the window. Then you showed up instead of Diane. Is 
attack, Diane has become the third victim of our killer. And nada from questioning Nick. Nothing. Got no new leads from questioning Nick. He's taken the death of Diane really badly. In shock, the works. He claims to have liked talking with her about art. But he also had a problem with her views about men. He says that they argued, but not at a level that would lead to a murder. They were about to head out to the bar again together. But while he was waiting for Diane, someone knocked him out cold. He has no idea who it was, either. Of course, Kaysen looks like a prime suspect. But that door was locked from the outside. There was no other way in or out of that room. Which means there is no evidence of his involvement at this time. He did say something else. The footsteps he heard outside the room were not heels, but a man's boots. And Nick was wearing boots. But now that Diane's dead, no one can back up Nick's statement. Which is why we have Nick in custody and have to let Kaysen go free. That seemed like the only option, at least for now. One more thing, Zach. George looked terribly depressed. I guess this case is really getting to him. He's feeling responsible for the deaths of Becky and Diane. To take his rules and confidence away from him, I wonder what's left. Well, of course, he'd still have muscle. So, das habe ich mir auch gedacht. Mit mit Latzhose, mit zerrissener Latzhose geht man geht er zu seinem Date zum Wein trinken und reden. Netflix und chill. Ich meine, vielleicht ist das so ein Rollenspiel, so ein Fetisch oder so. Der, der hart arbeitende Gärtner. Vielleicht steht sie drauf, die, die reiche Lady quasi so. Kann ja sein. Alle tot durchgespielt. Hot Dog. Ich habe mal gehört, da ist in Wirklichkeit gar kein Hundefleisch drin. Ich weiß, what? Aber anscheinend noch nie. Zack, let's get back to the hotel. First Anna, then Becky, now Diane. I'm not looking forward to writing this investigation report. Agent Morgan. York. Do you have a moment? What is it, George? There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Do you have any time later? Can't we just do it here? If possible, I'd like to go to a bar. Of course, we don't really have to. A bar? Now that sounds like a good idea. Zack, what do you think? We can go drinking with George, or turn him down and head back to the hotel. We can naturally go and drink. Grüne Tomate. Vergiftet den Körper ein wenig, sollte da, glaube ich, in Wirklichkeit stehen. Oh, sind schon drei Fliegen. George, that scar on your cheek. Das ging schnell. Where did you get it? This? Didn't I tell you? Well, it's not from work. I got it when I was a kid. A childhood injury. Tree climbing? I used to get a few scrapes myself climbing the big tree in our backyard. I used to climb it a lot. And fall out of it a lot. <laughs> This wasn't anything like that, though. This was my mother. She did it. I'm sorry, George. Don't worry. It's ancient history. The world is flooded with unreasonable violence. The strong overpower the weak. Adults over children. Men over women. And criminals over their victims. of my father. He left before I knew him. My mother would hit me every time I asked why. And it didn't stop there. If I ate too slow, left my shoes scattered around, TV volume too loud, she found reasons to hit me. Hit me bad. The worst was what she called the tree punishment. She'd whip my back with these thin tree branches like a whip. Ich 
tree punishment was definitely the worst, I tell you. Just hearing those words used to make me shiver and want to pass out. And that's why I didn't want to show you those scars on my back. Every time after the tree punishment, she'd always say the same thing. This is hurting the tree more than it is hurting you. And me, being a naive, dumb kid, I believed her. I went to the woods to apologize to the trees. I kept asking myself, why is she hurting me this way? I thought long and hard about it. In the end, I just figured I'm weaker than her. That's why. It's the law of Mother Nature at work. The strong eat the weak. But now, you have the power to protect the weak. That's right. Perhaps I should thank my mother for guiding me into this line of work. York. I've been an arrogant fool, haven't I? And if it weren't for me, both Becky and Diane would still be alive. I could have saved them both. You know, it's almost like they died because of me. You're out of your mind. I invited you to this bar for a drink. But I guess this bar is my confession chamber. And I wanted you to listen. And to tell you, well, you must already hate me for causing all these problems and not following your orders. York, I'm sorry. I'll follow your orders from now on. You'll have my total cooperation. George, you've been as cooperative as you can be. You even invited an FBI guy to a bar for drinks. You've done a good job protecting this town. And the folks here respect you for that. Nobody can blame you for anything. Thanks. I do feel a little better. Was für eine tragische Backstory. Das macht das Spiel wirklich schon auch schön, dass die ganzen Figuren auch ihre wirklich Hintergrundgeschichten und Persönlichkeiten kriegen. Gut gemacht, Spiel. Gut gemacht. Since we're here, why don't you talk to a few other people? Mach ich. I'll just finish off my drink. Let me know before you leave, okay? Machen wir. Und zwar mit jedem, der einen Namen hat. Wie zum Beispiel Carol. Hey, Carol. Becky is dead. Diane, too. We've got Nick in custody as a suspect. Nick didn't do it. I know. Carol, you took a locket from Diane, didn't you? A locket with this mark on it. I'm busy, gotta go. Ja, ich meine, technisch gesehen ist George mindestens zweimal der Mörder, mehr oder weniger. <lacht> For a white Christmas. Ach so, schade. Falsche Song.
ich meine, George würde schon auch ganz gut passen als Täterprofil. Ne? Man könnte diesen Frauenhass, der am Anfang etabliert wurde, natürlich auch mit seinem Hass auf seine Mutter und so weiter verknüpfen. Aber er hat weder ein umgedrehtes Peace-Zeichen auf seinem Rücken, noch sieht er von der Statur her aus wie der Raincoat-Killer. Was das natürlich wieder entkräftet. Aber das macht das Spiel dauernd. Sowas. Jeder ist verdächtig. Selbst ich. Und ich meine nicht York, ich meine mich. Vielleicht war es ich. Und ich weiß es nicht mal. Vielleicht war es er. Ich meine, guckt euch seine Augen an. Der Klavierspieler ist offensichtlich ein Zombiegeist. Damn it. Der Vorhang war es. Okay, schauen wir mal, ob hier noch mehr Personen mit Namen sind, die wir ansprechen können, aber ich glaube nicht. Die sehen schon von den, vom Modell und von den Texturen her aus wie Statisten. Außerdem sind hier schon wieder zwei Klone an der Bar. Mein Bruder ist im Sheriffbüro, nicht wahr? Der arme Kerl muss Nick bewachen der noch nicht mal was getan hat. Kann ich da wirklich reingehen? Das wundert mich jetzt fast. Wo bin ich denn jetzt? In der Küche? Nee, in der Garderobe oder so. Stabilisator. Hier könnten wir uns umziehen, wenn wir wollten. Aber ich will Fliegen sammeln. Sammeln wir ein paar Fliegen. Mal schauen, ob irgendjemand mal kommentiert oder was sagt, dass wir stinken. Ob irgendwas beeinflusst das auch was, dass wir stinken oder ist das nur ein Gag? Wer weiß. Wie spät ist es denn jetzt? Oh ja, ein bisschen können wir noch, aber jetzt speichere ich trotzdem mal zwischen. Nein, ich habe Nein gesagt. Ich wollte Ja sagen. So, George, hauen wir ab. Sorry to keep you waiting, boys. Zack. Emily is already a goddess of the forest. Anscheinend gehen wir doch noch nicht. Let's forget work for a bit and drink a little, shall we? York? Why is she here? I just thought the more the merrier. You know, to relax and get loose. Is this a problem? No, of course not. Pardon me, Emily, but I'm pooped. I think I'll just call it a night. George, I just got here and you're walking out on me? I was hoping the three of us could have a drink and let out a little steam. I'm afraid I've already had enough. And I already had a good man-to-man -man with York. So I'll see you guys. Irgendwie ist ein bisschen overdressed, oder? I think George likes you, but he's avoiding you all at the same time. <laughs> How astute. There's a reason? Nothing worth going into. It's a thing of the past. Ich dachte schon, sie greift jetzt zu dem Mixer, weil der Glas genau dahinter stand. Zu dem Cocktailmixer, gleich aus dem Kommen, ja. Okay. He did ask me out when I first came to town. I was still in high school. But oh Gott, I never Zombie really Boy sitzt neben uns. Type. And there's the age gap <lacht> thing too. I respect him, of course. Or I wouldn't have taken this job otherwise. <lacht> Zombie Boy ist ganz schön durstig. So, did you move to this town alone? Of course not. I came with my parents. Tell me about them then. Sure, why not? My dad dealt in stocks in New York. He was hardly at home when I was a kid. Always working. Those pieces of paper were far more important to him than I was. Which is no different now, really. I, I don't see much of him. My mother? Totally different story. A wonderful person that I still respect. 
she was always kind and understanding. Not only that, but she would always help me find my way. She could be fierce too, scolding me if I took a wrong step. We had our battles, sure, but all in all, she was a wonderful mother. Past tense? Yeah, she's gone now. Cancer, just before I graduated high school. She gave this to me just before she died. I take it with me wherever I go. It's what I treasure most. I'm sure she's very proud of you. So, und jetzt muss sie plötzlich weg und jemand anders kommt und erzählt seine Vorgeschichte. Bis wir die ganze Stadt durchhaben. Galaxy of Terror. I had a good time tonight. Hm. Good Name night. Für so eine Bar. See you tomorrow. York. Yes. Please don't lie to us, okay? I won't. Don't worry. I won't. anscheinend vor der Tabaksteuer. Der hat einmal dran gezogen und sie dann wieder ausgedrückt. Kommt, meine Fliegen! Gehen wir nach Hause. Gehen wir ins Hotel pennen. Das, kennt ihr das, wenn das auf einmal verbrannt riecht und ihr denkt, kommt das von draußen oder brennt der Rechner? Ähm, könnte ich jetzt nicht behaupten. <lacht> Let's focus on the case at hand. The murders with the red seeds. Officially, the Bureau has not made a statement about these seeds. Some even claim that they are irrelevant to the killings. But after the red seeds were found in a Boston homicide, I've been unable to get them out of my head. I've even gone through all of the files looking for similar cases, and we found seven other homicides related to the seeds. The victims were all young girls, and they were killed in eight different states. They arrested all seven murderers, but there was no connection between them. However, we must not overlook there was one thing linking the cases together, and that's the red seeds. And I have a hunch. This case here in Greenvale is going to lead us to the truth about those seeds. Don't you think so, Zach? Well, let's just do what we can do and do our best. And by doing our best, I'm sure we'll get to where we need to go. Okay. Hat er gerade gesagt, dass es sieben Mordfälle gab, in denen bei den Opfern auffallend rote, seltsame Samen gefunden wurden? Und das FBI sagt, ach, die Samen... Wir haben bestimmt nichts mit irgendwas zu tun. Hm, okay. Was ist denn so die, die Grenze fürs FBI? Ab 10 Funden von roten Samen an Tatorten? Wird es ab dann relevant? Oder? Typewriter. Ein guter, guter Firmenname für eine Typewriter-Herstellungsmaschine. Äh, Firma meine ich, nicht Maschine. Ein Typewriter von Typewriter. Gibt's die wirklich? Wahrscheinlich. Wetten? Wahrscheinlich heißen Typewriter Typewriter wegen der Firma Typewriter. Zack, let's go over our progress. From what Olivia told us, and the sketchbook we found at Becky's house, Nick and Diane became our primary subjects. Ich finde nichts dazu. Egal. There were a couple of reasons for this. First, Becky gave the missing locket to Diane. Also, Nick has no alibi for when Anna and Becky were killed. We followed Nick to the art gallery, which led us, unfortunately, to our third victim. 
the third victim, Diane, was strung up in the entrance hall of the art gallery. Her hands were tied and a knife was sticking out of her chest. Was? Wirklich? Messer? However, there was a marked difference from the previous crimes. Das ich nicht mitbekommen. Do you remember what that was, Zack? Ein großer Unterschied im Vergleich zu den anderen. Mehrere Leichen, keine Mordwaffe. Keine Mordwaffe? No, nee. that's not it, Zack. Think back more carefully. Aber der andere Mord ist doch auch gerade erst geschehen. Aber es gibt nicht mehrere Opfer, also muss es wohl das sein. Aber der zweite, da war sie doch auch noch lebendig. That's right. Diane was still alive. This suggests that very little time had passed since the crime was committed. Das war mal Zeit mal auch so. Which means the criminal was still close by. It was someone near the scene. There are two possible candidates. Nick, who was knocked out in the entrance, and one other. Zack, who was the other person in the gallery? Natürlich, Kaysen. That's right, Kaysen. We followed Willie, good dog, all the way to him. Kaysen's statement came out as follows. He and Diane were in a physical relationship. That was why he visited the gallery. The two were in the middle of such a meeting when Nick showed up. Diane lost her cool and shut Kaysen up in the basement. Now what did Kaysen hear when he was locked up? Schritte. That's it. The sound of boots passing by. Nick was wearing boots that day. Which means it was likely that Diane met with Nick in her room. Nick said he argued verbally with Diane about her playing around with men, but they eventually decided to go out drinking to make up. However, immediately after that, Nick was attacked by someone in the entrance hall and knocked unconscious. We saw the rest. Zack, do you think that Nick is our serial killer? Nein, Nick hat kein ausgearbeitetes Charaktermodell. Me too. Asha sent in a report too. He found a large volume of red seeds in Diane's stomach. This confirms her as a victim of the raincoat killer. Remaining leads. There is the locket, which is in Carol's possession. The man with the tattooed back and the upside down peace sign. There's a lot left to answer. I hope the coffee will give us more guidance tomorrow. Zack, what did you think about George pouring his heart out? I was surprised. It's the end of a monarchy. And he called me York instead of Agent Morgan. Emily? What's going on? Do you know what time it is? Um, I'm sorry. I... I couldn't sleep, so... I was drinking alone. My mother was a very kind woman. She always smiled so brightly. Baked cakes and cookies every day. She'd say that I needed the sugar because I spent so much time thinking. My father was always quiet. We never talked much. He was a federal agent, just like me. And he was hardly ever at home. The only words he ever had for me were harsh ones. I had a vivid imagination, and I remember he once said this to me. There are plenty of crazy things in this world. You don't have to go dreaming them up. And it's my job to make sense out of them. One day you'll understand what I'm saying. If 
found out later that my father was one of the first to ever use criminal profiling to catch bad guys. And so now I'm doing exactly the same job that he did. Like father, like son. Mm, can I ask you something? Shoot. Mind if it's something personal? Fire away. Who's Zach? Zach is a friend of mine. Oh, so you do have friends. Yeah. He's my only friend. What kind of person is he then? Well, I, I've never seen his face. But he's always with me, and we discuss everything. When did you become friends? long time ago, back when I was a child. I was seven. I woke up one morning to hear my mother crying in the living room. This wasn't normal, so... I headed in to see her. My father was there pointing a gun at my mother. I was so scared. I closed my eyes. So I, I don't remember much more. But I do remember the words my father said to me. At times we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. When I came back to my senses, they were both dead. He shot my mother and then killed himself. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Zach's with me. It was around that time that we became friends. I'm here. I'm with you, he said. I'll be here always. We can get through this together. Quite aside from that terrible scene in front of me, that voice seemed to make me calmer. And here we are, working together, getting through things. This is the first time I've ever told anyone about this. I wonder if Zack will get angry. <sighs> That's a sad story, but... I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but I'm sure there was a reason for what your father did. I know. I think maybe I became an agent to find out why he did what he did. Oh, oh yeah, York, I, I forgot to thank you. Thank me? For what? You saved my life. If you didn't save me at the gallery, I would have died along with Diane. No need to thank me for that. I'm pretty useless. I couldn't save Becky. I couldn't save Diane. What did you just say? Useless? <laughs> I was never expecting to hear you say that. Huh. There might be a modest guy in you after all. Finally, you noticed? You're a little slow, aren't you? may be hopeless, <laughs> but not useless. Zach, do you think Emily got home safely? Im Bett sollte man anyway, echt nicht rauchen. It's more serious das of a situation ich. than I thought. Do you remember? Our conversation with Emily. Jetzt schläft er ein und She's dann really oh. interested in you. I think she's starting to have certain feelings for you. If that's the case, Zack, you and I are rivals. This is a very serious situation indeed. Vielleicht redet auch mit seinen Fliegen. Vielleicht ist Zack yeah, eine der Fliegen. Let it be a fair fight. Nur eine. Die anderen mag Agreed. er nicht wirklich.
Das ist gut, das ist eine gute Interpretation. Ich glaube, ab jetzt sehe ich das Spiel so. Das ist eine, das eine seiner Fliegen. Dann freut es. Und der immer redet. I know you're there. Come on, please. Thomas, bisschen wie mich der erinnert an Eskel. Der sieht aus wie Eskel, der der Hexer, aber voll. Ist vielleicht seine Vorgeschichte. Jetzt sieht man ihn leider nicht mehr, aber Nick sieht voll aus wie Eskel. So, ja, den Trailer von dem neuen Paper Mario habe ich gesehen und das sieht ziemlich cool aus. Na, schauen wir uns an, was bisher geschah zum Schluss noch. Previously during the investigation. So, you want to find out everything there is to know about Diane? Nick is leaving the bar. Wait! She's still alive. Stop right there, Nick. You're under arrest for the attempted murder of Diane Ames. Emily, hurry! You saved my life. No need to thank me for that. I'm pretty useless. I couldn't save Becky, and I couldn't save Diane. Es hat gerade gespeichert, oder? Ich glaube, das stand Spiel gespeichert. Aber dann können wir jetzt genau pünktlich aufhören und das wäre super. Das stand ziemlich sicher Spiel gespeichert. Ich bin mir fast sicher. Na gut, Leute, dann machen wir jetzt Schluss für heute. Und am Donnerstag übermorgen geht es auch schon weiter. Jetzt wird es, finde ich, gerade erst spannend. Im Grunde lässt sich das Spiel am Anfang sehr viel Zeit. Es dauert drei Mordfälle, bis mal die ersten Charaktere so ein bisschen etabliert und vorgestellt werden. Also ich meine, gut, am Anfang trifft man schon alle so ein bisschen. Und jetzt hat man ein bisschen Hintergrundgeschichte zu drei Figuren bis jetzt immerhin gehört. Ab jetzt entwickelt sich das Ganze echt ganz schön und, und ziemlich cool. Und ich bin schon gespannt. Ich kann mich nicht mehr genau erinnern, wie es weitergeht. Aber am Donnerstag gibt es bestimmt neue Reveals und Aufgedecktheitungen Sensen und so. Also dann, gute Nacht Leute, macht's gut. Bis dann, bis übermorgen. Ciao.